What's up everyone, this is your boy Chris back with another reptile video. In today's video, I decided to go over some of the albino lines for leopard gecko since a lot of you guys are very interested. I decided to go over them today. Um, three albino lines are going to be Tremper albino, Rainwater albino, which in other words, Las Vegas albino, and third one is the Bell albino. The reason why I decided to create this video today was that a lot of you guys who are watching my video right now, they're asking me what the morph is your pet. Um, and it's really hard to tell, um, to be honest, as a person who are uh, just going to be looking at it. And there are a lot of hidden genetics inside their um, blood. So um, especially when they're recessive, there's a heterozygous, which it doesn't appear on their skin but when you pair those two same kind together there's a 50 chance where it could be albino lines or any other recessive lines so um, there are a lot of things that are hidden behind and that's something that you must know so i decided to pull up a camera today and decide to show you guys some of the examples um, before i go ahead and give you all the information i also did some research on these and i'm not the expert it's just going to be a couple of informations that I learned through the online and thought this would be a good video to share. So um, if you have a good information or better information, you can write a comment down below so that other viewers who are watching my video can also learn while watching this video. So let's stop wasting our time and get into it. So the first morph that I'm going to go over is the Tramper Albino. You guys probably have seen it in the market. Um, they're one of the most common ones out there. And as you can see, when you look at them, they definitely have these yellow pigments and white pigments and somewhat light brownish colors and some pinkish colors, all those things together. But um, when you're looking at these type of albino lines, the best way to tell from my research is just looking at their eyes. Usually there are a couple little bit of slack difference between these three lines and uh, I'm going to go over every single of them so if you can be patient and watch this video you will be able to see everything uh, throughout the end. So the first one um, it is the tramp albino and this is what it actually looks like and most likely uh, from the tramp albino what they have is the silverish eye color with the red vein on their eyes. The good example that I'm going to show you is this one. If you look at right here the eyes where right here is there's a red uh, red veins and there's a white silver color around their eyes and especially when it's dark their eye the dark lines do expand and it gets wider but when it's bright these eyes actually do get smaller so if you're keeping them make sure you're keeping them in somewhere in a dark area because they are very sensitive to the lights and it's better to just keep them in the dark area when uh, when you hatch out these new hatchlings. When you look at all the examples, they probably will have very similar colors from each other. And as a beginner, I totally understand they will kind of be look very similar to each other. But I'll give you some ideas on what to look for. And also they're basically the same kind, but it's more like it is found by different breeders. So that's why they all have different names. And usually back in the times when these morphs were created, the breeders can name these morphs with anything that they want. And a long time ago, they used to put their first name or last name towards their morph. So this one, Tramper, is actually a name, one of the names from Rome Tramper. So that is why it's called Tramper. And Bell is also a one of the names from the founder morph. So that's why they all have this uh, unique names for these type of morph but that is it for the tramp albino make sure you look into the eyes and normal leopard geckos usually have a dark colors usually have these type of dark colors so it's very different from albino lines and normal leopard geckos and it is one of the easiest way to tell if your leopard gecko is albino genetics or not uh, because their eyes is very different if you look at their eyes this is more like a silver white color and this one is more like a black and grayish color. Um, that will be the Tramp Albino. And the second one that I'm going to go over with is the second oldest albino morph, which is called the Rainwater. In other name, they call it Las Vegas. And Rainwater um, morph, let me give you a quick 
comparison. This is the Tremper and this is Rainwater. The Rainwater albino, based from my research, they tend to have a little bit of a darker color with their eyes and also the size-wise they're a little bit smaller compared to Tremper and Bell albino. That's one way to tell um, if they're rainwater albinos, but most likely a lot of these albinos will be very similar to each other. And the ones that I have right now is one of the best examples to give you. And not all the animals are going to be look like this. They could also look like tramper, but be all red rainbow albino. So I'm just giving you some of the best examples out there in the online so just to give you some quick information for albino lines, but that is a big difference for the rainwater albino uh, compared to tramp albino. And third one is the vel albino. If you look at this one, there is some difference that you can tell right away when you look at tramp albino, right? The, the patterns of these color are actually more darker brown, but they also can have a light color. Um, the best example for vel albino is this type of color. And usually bell albino tends to have a pinkish eye color like this. This is one of the great examples for bell albino. And also some information from the online saying that they do have somewhat lavender color on their uh, body. So that is one biggest way that you can tell if they're bell or tramper or rainwater albino. While looking at that, that is the biggest tip that I can find in the online. And if you have a better one, you can write a comment down below. As they grow, starting from the hatching for bell albino, they do have very similar eye color with tramp albino, which they both tend to have more like a pinkish color. But bell albino will stay like that until they mature. But tramp albino, as they mature, they will start to change their eye color to more like silver whitish colors. And that is one way to tell if they're tramp albino or bell albino. So there is my tip there. And here is one of the good examples that I can find. The picture was actually from the open reptiles that you can find um, that has a very good example. This is the tramper right here. And that is the bell. As you can see, dark color, dark brownish. And this is the rainwater albino. These are the three different type of albino lines that is in the market for leopard geckos and all of them are very beautiful. These two are kind of rare compared to tramper so the price wise it will be a little bit expensive than the tramper but it's always depend on the quality so if you have a good quality rep, uh, tramper albino that could be more expensive than the bell or rainwater albino. And last thing when you're studying any of these albino projects make sure that you don't cross out cross with any of these type of albino together you can cross tramper to tramper or bell to bell rainwater to rainwater but don't ever cross bell to rainwater or rainwater to tramper or tramper to bell because once you do that there's no way for you to figure out whether if this hatchling that they're about to lay an egg is actually going to be a, a tramper or rainwater or bell albino because they look very similar to each other. Don't ever cross any of these three things together because that's going to ruin the whole entire thing for albino lines. And it's just not going to be a good thing for your business as well if you're thinking about attending an expo and maybe selling these reptiles. But always keep them separate because that will keep the genetics strong and all these leopards go will be healthy forever so make sure you know that part and if you are doing the albino projects and your hatchings are starting to hatch out from the incubator make sure you keep them in a dark area because they're very sensitive to lights and it is better to have them in a somewhere it's a dark so that they feel more comfortable but here you go i hope you guys like my video and if you do like my video make sure you like my video and subscribe to my channel if, if you're new to this channel and i wanted to just kind of hear back from you guys and see if you actually like this video or not because if you guys actually do like it i'll probably do another research and do some study for you guys and give you a quick tip for the leopard gecko morph so um, let me know what you guys think of it in order for me to understand it just write a comment down below. It was great, excellent, amazing, short word. It's perfectly fine with me. So um, there you go. Hope this video helped you guys and I'll try to come up with another video in the 
next video, which is Thursday. Thank you so much for watching my video, and I'll see you guys later. Gekko. Hold up, hold up, hold up. You're watching my video until now, and you still haven't subscribed to my channel? What are you doing? Go smash the subscribe button and watch my video every Monday and Thursday. You can go now, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.